The HT225 MB Digital Concrete Test Hammer is developed by Langry Technology and is suitable for the testing of concrete comprehensive strength in structural engineering. It is equipped with functions such as rebound sampling, automatic recording, automatic storage, automatic calculation, strength result checking, on-site Bluetooth printing, background management setting, online data uploading, etc. After sampling, the original rebound value, comprehensive strength value, and overall comprehensive evaluation of components can also be checked. The sampling data is uploaded to the computer and the random data processing software can easily handle complex operations. The test report is provided immediately, greatly improving the working efficiency of the test. 1. Startup interface and a module setting of concrete test hammer. Press the start button to power on. Title bar above is instrument number, system time, component serial number, Bluetooth and battery power from left to right. The instrument has six main functional modules, including system setting, data deletion, sampling testing, data viewing, data printing, and shutdown. Among them, system setting, the first functional module, includes seven items. Backlight delay. It can be adjusted by pressing up or down with a range of 20 to 80 seconds. Unit of comprehensive strength. Optional megapascal, pounds per square inch, and kilogram force per square centimeter. System time. Press OK and up and down to adjust the time. After adjustment, press Cancel to return to the system setting interface. Curve setting. Custom curve. Chinese standard, American standard, and British standard can be selected. If custom curve is set, the maximum number of sampling points can be set to 200 in sampling. Voice broadcast. It can be switched off or on. Age, two options, for example, seven days and 14 to 56 days, respectively. Correction coefficient of test block size, 1.0, 0.95, and 0.8, respectively, according to different sizes. After calculation, the strength value should be corrected. Please set the above settings as required. The second function module, data deletion, once this command is executed, all component data in the memory would be deleted and cannot be recovered, so it should be operated with caution. Data Viewing The fourth function module. The view interface is the same as the sampling completion interface. Press up or down to select the component and press left or right to select and check the rebound value of the measuring point of the component. In the view interface, press OK to modify the carbonization depth value. Press Cancel to return to the main menu. 2. Preparations before testing 1. Detection of calibration value Before the use of concrete test hammer, the calibration value should be detected first to ensure that the rebound value is within the qualified range. Please use the testing anvil of the formal manufacturer for the calibration. After calibration, the average calibration value would be displayed on the left side of the screen, which will be used to determine whether the testing anvil calibration value is qualified. 2. Setting of sampling parameters. Press Sampling to enter the sampling interface for testing and press Cancel to select the second parameter setting to set sampling parameters. Among them, carbonization depth value 0 to 6 mm in general, with 0.5 mm depth. Rebound angle, three optional angles. 
selection of testing surface can be selected according to actual needs. Allowable minimum value. Optional between 10 to 20. Maximum allowable value. Optional between 25 to 84. After setting the parameters, select Continue Test and press the OK button to prepare for sampling. 3. Keep the power sufficient. The changing port is set on the right side of the instrument. It is recommended to use a random adapter to charge and to ensure sufficient power before testing. 3. On-site sampling and testing. 1. Testing operation of concrete test hammer. After the above parameters are set, click Continue Test to enter the testing state and start testing. During testing, hold the concrete test hammer with both hands to make the instrument vertical to the concrete surface. Apply pressure slowly, return at a medium speed, and make sure the interval between each rebound should be no less than one second. After sampling, the comprehensive strength value and original rebound value will be displayed on the screen. When the parameters are incomplete, the strength value would not be calculated. During sampling and testing, the first box on the left displays the rebound surface, rebound angle, comprehensive strength, and the histogram of rebound value. The second box displays the current rebound value and the average of the current rebound value. The third box displays the rebound value of the current component. Then press the cancel button to delete the add value modify the parameters, or exit the sampling. Note, the measured data will be saved as a single component node. If a single component is not saved and the sampling is stopped, the component data will not be saved. After the testing of a single component, press Cancel, and the pull-up menu pops up on the right side, giving two options, Continue Test and Change Parameter. If Continue Test is selected, the concrete test hammer will be directly switched to a new component test with parameters of previous component. Select Change Parameter, the concrete test hammer will be switched to the Sampling Parameter Modification Interface and start new component sampling after the parameters are modified. After all measuring points of a single component are completed, the component data is saved. 2. Bluetooth Printing The HT225MB Digital Concrete Test Hammer can be equipped with Bluetooth printer to print the on-site test results. Before printing, please turn on the power supply of the Bluetooth printer in advance, and the concrete test hammer will automatically identify and bind the printer. After selecting the component to be printed, press the OK button to print. 3 data to be uploaded to the computer. After the testing is completed, the data will be automatically saved in the concrete test hammer and left to be uploaded to the computer to provide reports. 4. Storage of concrete test hammer. After the concrete test hammer is used, the rebound rod should extend out of the casing or the casing surface of the concrete test hammer should be removed. After that, Press the rebound rod into the casing and sound it, and then put it into the instrument box. The instrument box should be kept in shade 